to Texas to buy a truck. Um, I'm kind of spontaneous in the fact that I like to buy random projects and people send me random stuff. I've been looking for a specific roller for a project that I've had in mind for a little while. Y'all are really going to love this. It's really going to complete our collection of trucks. So stay tuned. Uh, try and watch the whole video. That way you can see everything that we've got to play. But let's go say bye to the boys and get on the road. I know you're crying because I'm going to be gone another day or two. See you, love you, bye. Oh, yeah, see you, love you, yeah. bye. No, it might have been Brian crying. Or that's just his mullet sweating. You crying? No. No. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. Well, I'll just stay in Texas. Yeah, see y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the AC, AC didn't work on this truck. And uh, we got the refrigerant recharged because it had a cracked condenser. AC still wouldn't work. Um, turns out. You know, somewhere along the line, somebody left the AC compressor unplugged. There's one plug that requires. Yeah, there's AC. one one plug you need to have AC, and for some reason, no one plugged it back in. So, uh, new girl has AC now. I really did not want to drive that thing to Texas with no AC, but uh, you know, we did a we did a professional diag here <laughs> and uh, plugged one plug in, and it started working as it should. So we're pretty much um, certified diesel mechanics. Yeah. Oh, wait, we actually are, but if still. If that plug wasn't laying next to the plug, yeah. they probably if, couldn't figure it out. Yeah, man. I mean, I've thought about that for the past week when I've been driving it with no AC, but, you know, I was like, surely no one would just not plug the AC compressor in. Who do we charge for that? Um, we're suing. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're somewhere in the great state of Texas. Uh, at a gas station, get some diesel, some breakfast. Uh, we're about to go pick up the new project truck. Can't wait to show it to y'all. Can't wait to tell you what we have planned for it. Um, we had one casualty on the way. I uh, I did lose a fender on the trailer. Um, not really sure what happened. All I know is I hit a piece of tire in the road. Luckily, there was no one near me on the road when the fender came off. But this was about um, Arkansas, about probably 10 o'clock last night. So I hit a tire that was laying in the road. It came up and knocked the fender off and went into oblivion. It kind of took me a second to notice, and I didn't see it. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of missing the fender. It did break this latch off. Um, so we'll get that fixed when we get home. Um, it ain't a problem for us to get these fenders. But, uh, yeah, we are here in the great state of Texas. Let's go pick up a truck. All right, guys, we're in Texas, somewhere to be unknown. Oh, my God, is that a crew cab first gen? Holy shit. Baby girl. Woo! Race truck. All right, guys. We're here in Texas picking up the new roller. Um, obviously, you know that's not going to stay silver. And then we're going to fix all the imperfections. But this is a fourth gen roller. Um, the whole interior will be for sale out of this truck. Uh, we don't need none of that. Um, also, this bed will be for sale because we're going to be hanging bed sides. This will be the new drag truck project. Um, we've got some body work to do on it this door's got some dents in it or we're gonna find a better door and then we got some dents to fix in the cab and stuff but a pretty solid start considering it's a 13 year old truck so um frame is super super clean obviously it doesn't come with anything uh, it's got a harness and stuff in the bed but we're not going to use any of it and yeah so obviously you know we're going to paint it white and i think that front clip considering it's already gone needs to be a different generation so this is a 10 model so luckily you do get the better suspension in my opinion for drag racing stuff i like this suspension better it seems to be tougher than the like newer fortune suspension but let's get her loaded b-rex common rail i wonder where this thing went uh apparently parker over here common rail swap this one's getting an engine. Why is it so low in the back? Is it backed? No engine. And I think it's like an in, uh, inch lower. Okay, yeah, that explains it. Um, this one's getting a new core support, new engine. Got another engine over here. Got something with some fat compounds. I'm kind of interested in the compounds. Yeah, why don't you send those with me to Tennessee? Huh? Where I don't have to build any. <laughs> those are... Oh, is that the one? I, is that a 107? Yeah. Okay. So that's similar to the kit I have. This has 68 on a manifold and a 107. So it's 68, 107. We got a 72, 107. So not too far off, honestly. Um, 
Dual gates? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go dual gates on the next setup, but got Michael Bassett's truck, I think. This dude messaged me yesterday on Instagram, said his truck would be here. He needs to fit you and swap the front end. Yeah, he does. Well, it's already wrecked. I would. It's not. It's not. Whoa. Taillights. He's got some goodies for it. Mm. And That's I all see all the nitrous. Yeah. All this shit. Okay. This is his. Okay. Uh, that's your mock-up engine? Yeah. And that's all his parts? You gotta build the gates and stuff. You gotta build the gates. So you got a, a DMJ, just a block, a, mm -hmm. a bare block from them, 14 mil. The machined in 14 mil girdle and a 14 mil head stud with a 916. Hell yeah. Is this your truck? Yeah, that's my little. I got two of my daily. Uh, it doesn't look much daily anymore. Yeah, I see the slicks. Right yeah. So we got B Rax's. Um, this truck was a 12 valve, wasn't it? Okay. Well, thank God you're pulling the 12 valve out and putting a common rail in. You're gonna have your hands full with that one, though. Yes, I am. It's uh, that's never fun. But we got that. We got some third gens. Kind of just snooping around to see what I can find that's cool in here. Um, 2G swap, some other stuff. Potential race truck, looks like. Um, the second gen's got a pretty cool paint job on it. Let's see what we can find over here. And then I think they got a drag truck. Somebody's drag truck. I don't know whose drag truck. Whose truck's this? Huh? Whose truck's this? Uh, I got from Dallas. I mean, uh, for the shop in Flight. Flight Magic? I think I've heard of him. His name's Cole Carter. What are you doing it? Nitrous? No, I built the compound kit, did a bunch of interior work, uh, got, or took everything out of it, painted everything, did the wiring for it. Fixed all the wiring, built the compound kit, and the cooler, mounted all that. What's he trying to run? 590 or Pro Street or what? I was about to say this. It looks like he's got enough to run more than that, but I don't know if he's quite ready for Pro Street. No. Pro Street's a different world, man. Everybody's aggressive. But yeah, no. Oh, it's got an AEM CD7, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same data log I got in yeah, I cleaned my truck. The, yeah, so I got blocked off all the factory shit that was there. And I have like yeah. a piece of it carbon fiber blocks off that yeah and, uh, looks a lot better for sure this truck's been built for a while though you can tell yes cage man. works old heck yeah all this stuff is old he's uh it's it's common rail swapped ain't it yes okay i was about to say it's got a healthy motor in it this is your personal truck ain't it yep if i'm not mistaken this thing's been around for a while it has um i remember seeing this thing doing burnouts at meets Woo. All right, what's uh, what's the low down? Uh, 350%, five nine injectors, A49, DCM, two 12 mil pumps, uh, T6 475 on a manifold, and a VS uh, ball bearing 106. God bless you. you got plenty of turbo, yeah, it looks good too. Yeah, and you, done, you daily there. this and pull trailers and everything yeah. with it. I had a trailer for it, I don't know about a full oh, I was about to say. But that's yeah. good, way better than you expected. I, honestly, I would expect it to do good. The only thing that I would believe is a cripple on it as far as trailers is the T6 on the manifold. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it takes a while to spool. Uh, with really with a load. Very manageable. If you know what you're doing, you could drive it, but yes. you couldn't put anyone in this truck. Yeah, no, you couldn't. No. Is it full manual valve body, manual? What is it? 48 swapped, ratchet shifter, of course. Um, door panels are all for weight reduction? No, just that one. I gotta redo it. Like, I gotta do a bunch of shit on that side. Mm -hmm. You lost it on the drag strip. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, yeah, it is a 2G, but it's a 2G with uh, about $30,000 in engine sitting right here. So yeah, we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna judge the 2G at this moment. Um, this a nice truck for driving more. Well, the fab work and stuff looks good. I mean, oh, yeah. the uh, only the only reason I would ever own a 2G is to common rail swap it. Because mm -hmm. I just, VPs, 12 valves yep. do not do it for me. I don't like they don't, nothing they, they about it. They struggle to do any, uh, make any power. They struggle to, to even live. Mm -hmm. They uh, they hate life. but Costly truck, some bullshit you got to deal with. Yeah, truck looks good. I guess we're going to get heading back to Tennessee. Actually, I'm going to JTX first, which is in Gladewater, about yep. three hours from here. So, RIP me. We'll see.
back guys we're at jtx forged in gladewater texas uh checking out the facility taking a tour saying hi to everybody obviously they're one of our favorite companies to work with and someone we work with really really closely so we had to stop by see them and then we went ahead and picked up our new wheels for the mega um really been wanting to get some new wheels on this thing ever since i bought it and i actually ordered something that was a little bit more custom you know not just a polished set so we've been having to wait it is not the polished or yeah it's not the white and milled and brush set but it's a different set um that's similar to it but we're gonna run them for now due to wait times and uh hopefully everybody likes them i'm excited to reveal them uh i should have tires coming in for them tomorrow morning so i hope to reveal them in this video if not we'll just show you all the wheels but hopefully we get them on the truck this week oh yeah i need to give me one of those big signs that thing's pretty dope but uh we also have some inventory wheels coming in uh, i grabbed two sets of wheels while i was here obviously we got the roller um big big plans for this thing i've been kind of on the phone with some people trying to figure out how to do the fifth gen front end swap um on the way here and everything that we need to do obviously this bed is going um we pretty much bought this thing for the frame in the cab um that's all we wanted the cab's in pretty good shape it's got a couple little dents but we'll get all that fixed and hopefully make this thing as nice as i want it to be now on the daily uh like i said we got new wheels for it gotta get some tires for it and we gotta decide are we lifting it are we leaving it where it is i want y'all to let me know what you think should we lift the truck um if we lift it i'm gonna go with a bigger tire on the new wheels obviously but if not, you may or may not like the wheel and tire setup that goes on this thing. Head back to Tennessee. See y'all there. Hey, hey, they really like that white truck that they were seeing in them sneak peeks, didn't That's they? That's pretty white. I got one question. Yeah, where's the white? Where's the fender? Okay. <laughs> that story is explained earlier in the video. So I hit a road gator. Oh, no. And then it took the fender with it. And by the time I noticed, it was, it was RIP. I was going to assume that she was obliterated. <laughs> Yeah, it took the latch and all. Man, I wish I knew somebody had a light company that done trailers. Do you? Your family. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> what? What name? What the? Um. Yeah, what do you think? It's a freaking unit for what we pay. Yeah. In general, it's not a unit. But for what we paid, she's a freaking unit. I say, what? Walking lugs. Walking, oh, yeah, somebody's, who, who let the pores out? <laughs> what happened to that strap? Uh, that's safe. very tight, and I uh, tightened it, yeah. I wonder, did we get drive shafts with this thing? Oh, she's a little bit tooted, bud. It's, it's, it, oh, the headliner. Oh, I saw it in the pictures, but I never looked at it. Oh my America. Oh, oh, we got the F boy stickers. Yeah, yeah, that's how you know this thing's been around. The... Was that windshield cracked before? Not. I don't think so. The road well, gator missed it, got it. Well, the road gator got it. Okay. No, the road gator happened before the trailer was loaded. Um, That is so disappointing. Maybe I just didn't notice it. Yeah, it definitely happened on the way here. Wow, all right, so <laughs> parts list. Windshield. <laughs> you don't need that to go fast. No, I mean, I was going to say we'd go Lexan, but people usually still stay with the glass on the windshields. But, yeah, I mean, roller-wise, though, I mean, the firewall and stuff's really clean, to be honest. Oh, that's busted, busted. Yeah, it's shattered. What? Finish it? finish him now when we get a new one we'll finish it but we're gonna leave it in there for now and then when we go to paint it because it's the wrong color um what why would we do that we would never do that also stay tuned for this one because if you're wondering how to fifth gen swap your fourth gen we're about to show you besides that though i mean like it's pretty clean firewall wise uh i've seen a couple dents there's a little dent right there um and there's another one right there so we're gonna get that fixed do all the body work on it this bed is going we're definitely hanging bedsides i'm gonna sell that bed and then besides that i mean he said it has some new parts in the front end it looks like it's got new ball joints new hubs new steering i mean she's, she's ready to rock 
Yeah, we gotta get rid of them. Um, you just say you're afraid you're gonna get some tetanus. Okay, how's the radio work? It's a Kenwood, it don't work. All right, we got American flag on the headlining. Got some F-Boy stickers. Got something to do with cattle right there. Uh, do a boosted launch, bub. Launch them, launch them. <laughs> yeah, we don't need seat bolts. Who's that for? Uh, how do you, do you carry your dip on your side? How do you tear that out? No, man, that's fat boy love handles. That's a fat boy love handle right there. Somebody's love handle been rubbing all up on that seat. <laughs> it's really not that bad of shape in the interior. Too bad we're not going to use any of it. Um, he did tell me he did put a leather dash pad out of a Laramie in it, and it does have one. It's got the, it says Alpine. I know this, I know this mofo ain't got no Alpine. Yeah. It'd be lucky to have like a Bose speaker from Walmart. Yeah, yeah, you've been eyeballing that cubby. Calm down, calm down. What? Price just went down on it. Why? They done drilled a hole in it. There's a hole in the cubby? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So the price just went from free to free. You know what? I'll take the hole. I'll, I'll, I'll do that deal, How you said. How much for this leather dash? How much for the leather dash? I don't know. I mean, we're gonna have the whole interior out of this thing. Definitely don't want this steering wheel. This steering wheel is ugly as crap. This is like the, I mean, it's a 10 model, so it's the 2010 steering wheel. You can change those. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but it's that, and it's yeah. a little, it's a little clapped, a little, Bro, a little crusty. Got a new one at the house. I'm sure that this thing has auto headlights. I'm sure that this is not the switch out of another truck. It's actually not bad. Let's uh, let's go through our goodies in the bed. And see what, see what kind of rowdy stuff we find. Does anything work? Tire light load inflation. Wow. Yes. Yes. Exhaust brake. Let's go. Let's go look at our goodies. So you ready to do our haul from Sheen? Actually from Texas, but this is from Wish. This is from Wish. Yeah, this is a bunch of junk. We're gonna use like two things out of the entire bed. What's the price um, on copper right now? On copper? Yes. Yeah, so we got a whole harness. Yeah. We, I mean, I was gonna say it's a good one, but then I just saw that the whole half of it was cut right there. So. Yeah, Monica. Monica. What we got right here. So this is supposed to be a T case that already has the front flange cut for a 48. So we're going to use this T case. It's a manual T case too. So we, we get to go on that. Hopefully they, they put the lever in here. I hate it. Cause every time you get one of these, somebody always keeps the lever. This thing been drugged down the road. Um, that's also just shaved for lightweight, um, race truck stuff. Okay. That's a good T case. That's a really good T case. Um, should we let them hear that sound? This will fix it. <laughs> Intake valve and turbo. That's what, what's wrong with our old engine. With we never cleaned rusty. the valves. Okay, yeah, I, I'm not gonna say that that's the best tea case. It doesn't really sound too healthy. I know where a tea case is heading. We have one already. Yeah, we got one right there somewhere. Also, uh, y'all got the, the Randy's put in that thing, didn't you? Woo wee, Randy 68 just went in that red truck. Um, let's see. We got two fuel cells with it. Do we want to use the blue one or do we want to use I, that one's a lot nicer? Oh, we're going to use this one. Maybe it's got some nice fittings and stuff on it, too. I feel like we just like been to the junkyard, but for a race truck. Um, got a drive shaft, two drive shaft, bruh. That is definitely the bezel that was supposed to be in this truck, bruh. That's the old one. You don't want that. No, I don't want it, but it's not bad. Hey, I know who I can sell my Laramie dash pad to. Yeah. You know who. We need to go say it. <laughs> the 2011 King, man. 2011 King. Uh, the fender wells, those are cut to pieces. We wouldn't use them anyways. Uh, what about the grill? How's that look? Oh, is there rock lights in? Yeah, I mean, we got a good grill shell if anybody wants to buy that. I'll take, yeah. a, hun I'll take a hundo for it. Is it busted? Okay, it's it's not busted, actually. Well, okay. What's that out there? I feel like we got like a parts warehouse for guns at this point. Here's the under headlights. Where are the headlights at? No, the whole front clip didn't come with the truck. I don't know where it went, what happened to it. Um... I do remember seeing videos of this truck running um, because I didn't actually know this was the truck that it is. And I remember seeing videos of it running like not that long ago, but it, it definitely don't run anymore. And I don't know why they kept the fenders and the hood and stuff, but oh, all right, cool. All right, bub, what's the plan? Do we do Dino Princess or race truck? Uh, 
racetracks that. So we don't put a cage in it? No. See, if we're not putting a cage in it, we can build this thing about 15 times faster. I'll save a killer dyno with it. So we need an engine. We got a trans. We got a, we got a, the trans has the old drag truck. Um, we have all the electronics. We got a harness. We, we've got everything to make a dyno princess except an engine. Um, we do have a good set of rods. And we have a somewhat two donor blocks. I mean, it could still be a nasty street truck. Yeah, you can't street truck it, though, because, like, it's not got a factory harness and stuff, so I'm not going to drive it with no AC and crap. <laughs> you did it for a couple days. All right, well, that's <laughs> besides the point, Bubba. We're not, we're not at that point anymore in our life. Um, if we dyno princess it, I still want to rip the interior out. Oh, yeah, the interior's coming out. Yeah, this interior is not staying. Yeah, that's just all he's worried about. Bubba has been talking about buying one of these cubbies for like six months now. Or like six hours, but he's been wanting one of these cubbies. So we're going to probably... for the window switches. Uh, the, the custom window switches? Don't push on that. Wow. Um, maybe just fell on me. Okay. Well, it, it don't go on me. It falls where? It fell in the hole. There you go. Huh? You know, you got to give them like props for creativity though. Switch is like 25 bucks. That's yeah. Way too much yeah, because you couldn't have just gone to a junkyard and but oh, oh, it fell. <laughs> yeah. I finally got it. I got it. Oh, shoot. All right, guys. Well, hopefully, we get to reveal some new stuff for this one here soon. We're going to rip the bed off, check out the four link setup in the rear. Um, I don't know if you can really see any of it. We're going to get the bed and stuff off here soon. I think the four link setup is not 100% correct, it does not look good. So luckily I do have a fire pump four link kit on the back shelf. So if we don't like this, we will cut it off and redo everything in the rear. Um, besides that though, I mean, we just got to figure out what direction we want to go. We obviously are going to be fifth gen swapping the front end. Um, we kind of want to be the first ones to do it. So we're going to get on that pretty quick. No one has fifth gen swapped a drag truck or built a fifth gen drag truck. Uh, honestly, some people are going to complain that it's a 10 model with a fit gen front clip. I don't really care. I actually prefer this front suspension because it's this, this early fourth gen and, and third gen suspension has proved to be the toughest it's four link by four. far. Yeah, it's, factory four link. it's factory four link. We're going to put different control arms, uh, strap limiters and probably do a brake kit on this. So if, uh, we might have the OG drag truck slash pull truck sold too. So, if that pulls out, we'll get all the electronics out of it. We'll mount the CD7 in here and we'll have a good time. So if that's the case though, if we're doing a dyno truck, we might just leave a lot of the dash and stuff and just do seats. But that headliner's gotta go. Love America, but that's just, that's a lot right there. That's a lot, man. A park. It's a little trailer park trash vibe, but um, rods, all good. So we, we got those. Hopefully Waggler will be able to do something with our engine or whoever we take the engine to. So I think that's it. Bub, bub, kiss them by. Whack them. Do mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm.